More than 10 million of you have downloaded Blender and 80% of you are beginners who have no idea about these amazing free add-ons that pros are using. So I'm going to go through a lot of them briefly to show you how useful they could be to you. Speed things up by using this copy and paste add-on that lets you copy images from anywhere from the web or your hard drive and paste them directly into your shader editor as a texture or 3D viewport as reference or image on a plane. You can use the shortcuts Ctrl Shift V in your viewport to paste the image as a reference or use the shortcut Ctrl Shift Alt V to paste the image as a plane. In the shader editor, just use Ctrl V to paste it as an image texture. You can also use this in other editors like the UV editor or image editor to paste this as a background image. There's also a menu where you can access the same options from the different editors. After pasting your image into the shader editor as a texture with the last add-on, one more add-on you can install is the bump, which you can use to create a normal map, height map, and, and cavity map from a single image. You just click on the image after installation, and in your shader editor, using the end panel, you will see the deep bump add-on. You can also see the buttons, create normal, create height map, and cavity. When you click on the image, you can select create normal to generate a normal map from the image, within a few seconds. The height map can be created from the normal map and the cavity can also be created from the normal map under just a few seconds. Still on the topic of materials and shaders, this substance add-on for Blender makes it easy for you to import smart substance materials into Blender. You also get access to the smart material parameters so you can customize the material to your liking. If you don't have any substance materials, there are hundreds to download on the substance community page where a lot of professionals are uploading their own creations. This list is going to contain a lot of add-ons, so you will need an easy way to manage them inside Blender. So let me introduce you to Simple Tabs. It's a free add-on that helps you manage your add-ons better with a pop-up menu and an easy way to select them and disable them if you want to. You can also categorize them in different categories so that you can easily access the ones you want. Like adding details without working too hard, this image mesh add-on can help you with that. Just look for the image detail you want and it will be done in a matter of clicks. If you loved the Last of Us series, then you are going to love this differential growth add-on. This add-on can be a great way to generate bizarre looking organic patterns that look similar to the Last of Us fungus plant. What I love more about this add-on is its satisfying animation when it's creating the fungus. Plus, the add-on is free and open source. Real life is imperfect, things break, crack and damage, 3D renders mimic real life and without cracks and damage, your renders will never look realistic. Even non-photorealistic renders need some cracks and damage and that's what this crack and damage add-on gives you. Number 8 we have Action Recorder. If you have used Photoshop before, you have probably used something similar to Action Recorder. You record actions you want to repeat and hit playback. In 3D modeling, you do a lot of repetitive tasks like 90% of the time. Wouldn't it be nice to just, just do them once and let the computer repeat them as you want? This add-on does something similar to that. You select the actions you want to record and when you have to repeat them, the add-on takes over. At number 9, we have the plant library. The plant library is a collection of highly detailed vegetation from the makers of GeoScatter. Most beginners will not need more vegetation than what is in this collection. It's simply amazing how much value is being given away for free here. Number 10, we have Biome Reader. Like the plant library we have just looked at, Biome Reader is made by the makers of GeoScatter and actually the plant library collection is meant to work with the Biome Reader. What this add-on is speaks to the nature of the Blender community, a group of artists working together to create breathtaking content. The Biome Reader is meant as a standard scattering add-on for vegetations, so it works with other add-ons like Botanic to help you scatter vegetations in a realistic way. If you have ever wanted to place objects in a scene, randomly, then you know it's a lot of work. You either have to use geometry nodes or the particle system. With natural clicker, all you have to do is select the objects you want to scatter and then click away. Where you click is where the object is added. You can enable random scale and rotation so that your objects don't look too similar. Number 12, we have wiggle bones. Wiggle bones, more like jiggle bones. You can use wiggle bones for secondary animation. It uses physics to give secondary bones natural animation. Bones can fall, collide, hence creating lifelike ragdoll animations. Number 13, we have Blender Rig. This is not just an add-on, it's a whole workflow overhaul. Blender Rig is what Blender Studio pulls out when they are ready to make character animations. It was used in a lot of open source projects, including Agent 3 25, Cosmos Laundry Mart, Spring, and more. If you want to make professional animations, don't miss out on this. 
is free and available now. Speaking of animation, Animation Extra is yet another add-on to help you make animations easier. The add-on adds a 3D onion skin effect so you can see how your animation poses are progressing through the timeline. The add-on does not draw extra meshes but draws directly to the viewport using Blender's BGL and GPU modules so your viewport does not incur any extra computations as a result of the add-on. Number 15, we have Procedure Slime. You like slime in real life? You must like slime in 3D. But seriously, this can be very useful for creating screaming creature monsters with saliva drooping everywhere. It comes with a lot of controls for materials, droopiness of the slime, and more. Number 15, we have Buildify. Trying to make a city with some ice asset, Pavo Oliver got you with his Buildify add-on. It's free, packed, and ready to go. This add-on works with other three asset packs you can download, like the modular asset kit, to create a different type of city. Want to make a river? Use Flow Map Painter to paint the flow of water. Texture coordinates are just colors, red, green, and blue. You can treat them like a canvas and draw the coordinates of your textures. Flow Map Painter just makes the process a lot easier for you to do. Number 18, we have Pipe Generator. No further ex explanation needed here. It's just a quick way to lay pipe. The pipes even come with proper joints and textures. Number 19, we have AI Render. This AI Render is built on top of Stable Diffusion. All you need is a few basic shapes or silhouettes of your scene and a description of what you are trying to make and the AI will take over from there. No more polygon modeling, no more complicated shaders. Use primitive shapes to guide the AI to produce the final results. This and a lot more add-ons are listed in the description for you to check out. So don't wait any further, jump in and play with them. See you in the next video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the, share the video, and I'll see you in the next video.